I'm starting today's DIY with Dollar Tree chopping mats. These come in a pack of two, and I'll be using two packs for this project. So in total, I'm going to be using four pieces of chopping mats. I want a slight curve in my design on all of the chopping mats. So what I'm going to do to keep the shape in place is to use dowels and attach them to the chopping mats to make sure that the shape stays in place. I'll be using wooden dowels that I got from Walmart and I'm gonna be spray painting them silver, cutting them down to size and using them to keep the slightly curved shape in place. And guys, this is actually a DIY lighting idea because I know a lot of you will be wondering what I'm making at this point. So this is a DIY lighting. I'll be using a staple gun to attach the chopping mats to the dolls. I've attached the first chopping mat. Now the second chopping mat is going to be attached at the other end of the dowel. I'm going to go ahead now and add the third chopping mat. This is how it looks. Now I'm gonna be adding the fourth chopping mat at the other end of the dowel. Now I'm gonna fortify this structure with more dowels. Because I'm using four chopping mats and I have four sides to work on, I'm gonna be using four cutouts from the dowel to attach on all four sides of the design. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm going to add one more dowel to the top. I'll be covering up the sides with silver tape. Now you can also use pieces cut out from a contact paper to cover up the sides if you don't have silver tape. Now washi tapes are also another alternative. But the list of all the items that I'll be using in this DIY is going to be down in the description box below. To make this so much easier for you, you can have the tapes attached while the chopping mats are still flat. It'll be way easier to have them attached than when they're already folded. I'll be using diamond wrap to cover up the dowels that are still showing by the sides. You can get the self-adhesive 
diamond wrap at the Dollar Tree. But the one that I'm using for this project is the one that comes in a roll that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that's because I usually use a lot of diamond wraps for wide, large projects. So I just cut out a little piece from the whole roll of diamond wrap for my DIY. But then you can get just the exact quantity that you need for a particular DIY, especially this one, with probably just one or two of the self-adhesive diamond wraps that they sell at the Dollar Tree. At the middle of the chopping mats, I'll be covering them with paper plates from Party City. This is in gold and I thought I could mix them up to have gold and silver and that didn't look too good. So I'm going to use the silver paper plates. They're the same thing, but this one's in silver. You can also find these plates at Hobby Lobby. Now I'll be attaching these plates to the chopping mats with a staple gun. So to have this suspended on a ceiling, I'm going to be using shower hooks and adding them together till I get the desired length that I want for the lighting. To make sure that the shower hooks stay in place, they all have to be locked as they're linked together. use a cup hook that's going to be on the ceiling and the shower hooks that have been attached together is going to be on the cup hook and also holding the lighting. I'll be attaching remote control push lights inside. This is what the lights look like when they're on. It's so pretty and it has the right amount of lighting that I need for this corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.